What's up, guys? Oh my god, I look like Hello Kitty. Hey, blow up. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jade, and today we're talking about ignoring the algorithm. Wow, getting ready for my favorite coffee place because you know your girl runs on caffeine. I'm blending out my makeup as we're talking. We're gonna get ready and talk about people who crush it on the internet. Okay, so basically, I do a series called Ignore the Algorithm, and you guys have seen to love it, and for everyone, that's my fucking vacuum, I'm so sorry. For everyone who came from the Ignore the Algorithm part one with Emma Chamberlain and Cody Ko and James Charles, thank you so much for the support, and if you're sticking along, I just wanna say, Thank you. I'm not naked, I swear. I have a shirt. Sorry, ADD. Like, for real, I want to let you know on this channel, I care so much about helping you take your passion to a legitimate business. On this channel, we go over how to grow a page. Feel free to subscribe and like this video. All right, so on today's episode of Ignore the Algorithm, we're talking about just Coachella weekend and how Emma Chamberlain, let's see, I think Summer McKean, and a whole bunch of beauty gurus kind of, or not beauty gurus, they're just like lifestyle YouTubers kind of came together in a house by Dote Shopping App. A company called Dote basically paid for all these girls to come in a house, live together, that sounds strange, but it was actually really cute. All your favorite creators were basically having the best time of their lives on Coachella weekend. I was sitting at home watching the YouTube live stream version, but you know, sometimes we, we can't afford What I'm talking about is a lot of YouTubers lately kind of just create content without thinking about the algorithm. The algorithm is actually common for each and every social platform you go on. It curates which piece of content goes viral, basically. If you've ever seen a suggested video, that's because of the algorithm. So sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it frustrates people. And I always share marketing techniques that I really like and I will help you maybe grow your page. So this is going to be Coachella themed around the Dote shopping app technique. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. Hey. So the first person we're talking about is Summer McKean. Summer is a YouTuber. I would consider her a beauty lifestyle vlogger. She doesn't make as many makeup tutorials, but she got started for her well-known makeup tutorials ranging from 4 million views, um, and it's great. She has 1.2 million subscribers now. And I think her growth contributed to her consistency of milking her content. If you guys look, like all of her content is basically their makeup tutorial, get ready with me. She makes sure she revolves around the same topic. A lot of you guys want to pivot your content way too fast. From being the tutorial girl, you're going into like, into, I don't know, like skits. So when you're trying to pivot your content or when you're creating videos and you get bored, you have, there's a way to do it the right way. And I think Summer really good does, Summer does a really great transition from being a beauty guru to lifestyle. And it, the key word is it took time. She's been on YouTube for, I believe, six years ago. So I think Summer's success is pivoting her content the right way. Changing one topic to the next, but transitioning it over time and not confusing the audience. <laughs> Emma Chamberlain. Hey. Dude, I've tried to do this video before with Emma and she's insane. She's literally about to hit a million subscribers. Questions everything I talk about when I talk about marketing because she does not give a shit. Today, there's a lot of possibilities. It could really... <laughs> Emma basically started with mostly videos that were random, kind of just about her life, and she stayed true to herself. And it was only till recently she started hanging out with like, you know, YouTuber friends, and I think what's really important about Emma is she doesn't rely on someone else to promote her. She just kind of built it on her own. A lot of you guys want to think like, oh, if I got a shout out from this girl, can I get a shout out on your page so I can get followers? Like, it doesn't work like that. Like, hey, go like, no one, people are lazy as shit. People won't move from one channel to another unless it really brings value. You have to bring tremendous value first before you can make people take action. That's why collaborations don't work unless you have a strong brand already. It only works to kind of expand and scale. And I know I talk on this channel a bunch about collaborations, but I feel like I need to teach you guys doing it the right way is about building your brand first. And that means just creating a lot of videos on your own. It's lonely, it's not fun, it takes years. But for Emma, it honestly took a couple months, which I'm kind of, I try to give you guys patience, but I would say don't ever base your success. The one thing that YouTubers are really good at is, guys, they don't plan for getting growth they just do it they focus on the process not the outcome so props to emma i think that's another variable to her success she doesn't really like sell herself out okay so the next person on the dote house is we should take a walk someday dream about what we could have been but i don't want to leave this place there's no faith in brooklyn no, Coffee can like it. So the coffee 
is 10 out of 10. I want to let you guys know, I wear this watch literally every day and I'm doing a giveaway with Leonard at church. If you want my watch, head over to my Instagram right here. But I know I'm doing a giveaway for you because I love you so much and Leonard at church was so nice enough to send you one of these two. <laughs> back home and I actually have an eyelash in my hand because it fell out so as I'm gluing it back on my eyes we're gonna talk about the last dot in my tea oh, guys I just realized <laughs> I was looking through the dot house and I, I realized just I don't know how to make this in the most nice way possible everyone in the dot house was either like a beauty guru or you know what I mean like just really basic all right I did not mean to put it that way the only person that really sticks out to me in, in regards to like ignoring the algorithm like I'm saying their content is great it's just like the one that actually breaks every rule on YouTube is Emma she cusses she <laughs> doesn't care about SEO she's honestly herself um which really stands out to me so now I get a pitter picture I was trying to think about the third invitee that I could review but everyone's fucking I don't know like it's easier to get traction on a makeup tutorial than I don't know a freaking random skit so props to Emma she's definitely leading a whole new generation of people being authentic finally I don't know like I just think when I think about David Dobrik another famous vlogger type Thing. I don't know what you call these people. They're honestly their own species. I guess what I'm trying to say is a lot of the times when I talk about Summer and like Emma and I talk about pivoting content, I think people are really bad at being consistent because they don't like to adjust. Everyone wants to hop from the one topic to the next. It's like the shiny object syndrome. Shiny object syndrome is basically when you see something cool, like a new trend, and you just chase it. Now, Emma. David and Summer, they're really good at staying grounded. They're not chasing anything. They're only just adjusting and tweaking their content. They never 360 turn around their videos into a whole different niche. If you look at Emma's content, there was a history of like beauty tutorials. And over time, she just slowly adjusted it to be more personalized. Now, she's milking her content all the way through. So now, guys, I'm literally learning with you. I think the secret to people ignoring the algorithm is adjusting. They ignore it, but they're not dumb. They're not letting their ego get to them and they're actually adjusting to what the response is to the consumer. If there's more comments in a certain way you're talking, let me talk more like that. I feel like that's the reason why I'm creating this series so you guys can build your own algorithm. You don't have to follow what YouTube or Instagram is saying. Like, you have to post at this time. You have to put this many minutes in your video. You have to do these many keywords. Like, no, ideally you can build your own algorithm. I'll link below a video I talked about kind of the way I build my algorithm, but it takes so much time and everyone literally gives up before they even have enough data to build their little equation of a successful YouTube video. I feel like every YouTuber needs to carry around like a notebook or my version, which is sticky notes. Oh, by the way, people are wondering, I put my eyelashes underneath my eyes. Is that creepy? Ah. <laughs> I want to round this video off with one thing for you to take away. When I'm talking about the Dote house, I'm really trying to just give you guys the dream and imagine just being in a house full of creators. Maybe you're in a small town and there's not many people kind of as ambitious as you I can relate to but there's not many people that really get me and I'd love to be in a house full of people that make content um, but the way you get there is by doing the hard work everyone literally that gets in the house has to do the shitty shit like <laughs> edit the video daily Emma literally did daily videos for a month straight um okay this is ah there's like glue in my eye oh okay where was i everyone in the house had to do so much years of work and everyone wants to shortcut it in a few months don't shortcut you'll get there just be patient and actually learn to adjust and don't let your ego get to you. Just because you think you're pretty and you're talented doesn't mean you'll get there. It's actually a lot about timing, a little bit of luck, and a magic of being genuine in yourself over time. Should be good to go. So I guess this video is just supposed to remind you that if you want to be in a cool house full of creators like Team 10 or like any do event, uh, do your shit first and learn. Alright guys, if you like my videos and I'm currently in pain and everyone, by the way, I'm a high school dropout. All my friends are currently at prom right now. As I'm sitting here working on meetings. <laughs> so, if you want to, you know, sympathize with me at all, just give this video a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. I actually really appreciate it. I've really learned how YouTube has been one of my best friends lately. And as everyone is, as I'm literally painfully watching my friends' Snapchat stories, I am painfully watching all my friends have fun, get lit. I'll just stay here. On that YouTube grind. Anyways, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below what you really think about this video. I really do want to know your thoughts. And frankly, I would really appreciate it as everyone, literally everybody in my friend group is just having a great night. I posted a video a couple of days ago with anxiety problems. I posted a couple of videos with me just like being a mess. You are the best. 
I can't thank you enough. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Comment below and I'll chat with you soon.